Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Insha'Allah, in this video, we'll be looking at natural mud or mad taba'i. Natural mud is essentially the same as mamduda, which we learned about in the previous video. Just like in mamduda, a natural mud is used to elongate or stretch a fatha, dhamma, or kasra for two seconds. There are three mud letters you must be familiar with. Alif, Wow, and Ya. When an Alif Sukun is present after a Fatha, a Wow Sukun is present after a Dhamma, and a Ya Sukun is present after a Kasra then a natural mud is present. A sukun is a circle-shaped diacritic placed above a letter. If none of the three vowels, fatha, kasra, or dhamma, are present, then a sukun replaces the absence of those vowels. We'll go into more detail about what exactly a sukoon is in our upcoming videos, inshallah. A sukoon can also be shown using this symbol. Let's take a look at a few examples. با فتحة ألف سكون با با ضمة واو سكون بو Keep in mind that the ألف present here is only there for grammatical purposes. Next, moving on. با كسرة يا سكون بي Just to compare, the difference between با فتحة is that با فتحة is pronounced با. However, با Fatha alif sukun is pronounced ba. Moving on, ha fatha alif sukun ha. Ha dhamma waw sukun hu. Ha kasra ya sukun hi. غين فتحة يا سكون غاء غين ضمة واو سكون غو غين كسرة يا سكون غي واو فتحة ألف سكون واء واو ضمة واو سكون وو واو كسرة يا سكون وي so basically this is the same as واو فتحة ممدودة The next one is the same as Wow Bamma Mamduda. And the last one is the same as Wow Kasra Mamduda. As we have learned in the previous videos. Inshallah, that'll be it for this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.